Dealing with a new trend as they rebuild business. Eyewitness News Katie Forcade tells us prices and inventory have altered the landscape of the showroom and new car lots. On the new car side, like for example, D. Patrick Ford typically has 400 or more new Fords in stock. We have 20 new Fords in stock. The COVID-19 pandemic has turned things upside down for car dealerships across the country, including here at home. But now things are beginning to look up. You're mixing with a lot of people. It's very difficult to do this business without, you know, face-to-face -face communications. So it's it's very nice that we're that we're past all that. Leaping into what officials at D. Patrick dealership consider to be an unusual trend in the business. Prices of vehicles sitting at record high numbers. We're getting them at higher prices according to the market, and we're selling them. At, at equivalent margins. They do say other factors weigh into this unusual trend, with new cars being ordered and sold in the lots quickly, making carrying costs low. There's also a shortage of automotive grade computer chips. Now the lot behind me may look filled with cars, but officials with D. Patrick say there's actually a shortage in inventory. We normally have about a thousand used cars in stock at D. Patrick, and we have about 750, so that's not quite as difficult. Take a look at this SUV. Officials say it's the only new car they have sitting inside the showroom, and that's highly unusual. But there are some positives. Consumers are spending money to have their current vehicle fixed up if they're waiting on new cars to arrive. And officials say looking into trading in the current car is beneficial since it could be worth more money. There's a whole lot of ways to play this very unusual market for the consumer, and every one of them is a benefit. In Evansville, Katie Forcade, Eyewitness News.